Hi! This is a quick Photoshop tip to show you how to manage it when you want to have a drop shadow from one layer in your image onto the layer below it, but not onto everything underneath it. it turns out it's very easy to do. So, um, this is a, an image, I'm, it's December, so I'm using Christmas cookies. We have three layers here with different cookies on them. I'll hold down the Option key, Alt on a PC, and let you see. We have the Snowflake cookie, we have a Bell cookie, we have an Angel cookie, and we have the background. And I want the shadow to be cast from the snowflake cookie onto the bell cookie, and another one onto the angel cookie that looks like it's farther away, and then one from the bell cookie onto the angel cookie, and no shadows on the background. Can this be done? Oh yeah, it's not even hard. I have the shadow already the way I want it, so I'm going to turn that on. And um, you can see it's casting onto everything pretty much equally, because that's the way that shadows, drop shadows, ordinarily behave in Photoshop. I want to reuse this shadow several times, so I'm going to hold down the Option key, and select the layer and drag it below the background. That way I have the shadows saved down here and I don't have to worry about it. If you have the background locked so that you can't put things behind it, you can just click the visibility icon and you won't be able to see it. Um, we don't need to do that right now, so we're not going to. So I'm going to right click right here on the FX and go down to create layer. And you might get this warning dialog that says that some aspects of the effects cannot be reproduced with layers. That's okay, this one can, so just click OK. And as you can see now, there is no effect on the layer. We have another layer underneath it that has the drop shadow. And it looks exactly the same. There's no difference. So how do I put it just where I want it on the bell cookie? Easy. Hold down the Option key, Alt on a PC, and click on the line between the two layers, and it clips the shadow to the bell cookie. As you can see now, the shadow's on the bell cookie. It's not on the background, not on the angel cookie, just where we want it. Pretty slick, huh? Want to see it again? Okay, we're going to hold down the Option key, that's Alt on a PC, and drag just the effect up to that layer. That's why we saved it. Now I'd like to, the shadow on the angel cookie to be a little farther away, so I'm going to open up the um, drop shadow dialog by double-clicking on it, change the distance to 50 pixels, and I'm going to increase the size just a little bit so that it looks like it's farther away. Blur it out just a little tiny bit. Looks good. Hit OK. And once again, just right click, create layer. We don't need to see this anymore, so I'm going to click the Don't Show again. Click OK. Then bring that down to the Angel Cookie, which is where we want the shadow to be. And hold down Option Alt, click between the layers, and clip it to the Angel, and there you have it. It's just the way we want it. The shadow from the snowflake cookie looks like it's on both of them, but looks like it's farther away in the angel cookie. One more time. Bell cookie. Drag the shadow up. Right click. Create layer. And option alt. Clip it to the layer below. You can clip a lot of layers onto a single layer. It's fine. And there we have exactly what we wanted. We have the drop shadows on the cookies, not on the background. And the drop shadow from the snowflake cookie looks like it's farther away on the angel cookie than the other cookie. It's all perfect. Okay. If you ever want to move them around, all you have to do is um, make sure that you have selected the drop shadows as well as the main layer that has the drop shadows. If you are not working with a version of Photoshop that lets you select multiple layers, you can always just lock the layers together. And then you can move it around, and as you can see, the shadow behaves exactly the way it should, even when you're going from one cookie to another. It looks like it's just dropping down farther back. I liked it where it was, so I'm undoing that. And that's really all there is to that. This is Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful. See you next week.